Today I am going to show you 7 smart tips to smartly manage your storage on your iPod device. So are you ready? Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. Tip number 1. Delete the apps you have not used in a long, long time. For example, 6 months or more. Especially with the big size apps. Don't worry, they are always going to be available in your purchased section if you want them back. Here's how you do it. Go into the settings. Go to journal. Go to storage and iCloud usage. Go to local storage and click manage storage. See how many apps I have? There's no way I'm using all those apps every day, every time. As time goes by, I find the apps for free and I find the apps which uh, I like and I may even buy them. But as the time goes by, I stop using them. So they are taking the room on my phone and they are not being used. So, especially based on the size. So if you look at it, Phones using 746 megabyte, Facebook using this much, pages, numbers, tiny scan, scanner, music. So music is an app which comes with the iOS. You cannot delete it. But pages also comes with the iOS, but it's an optional, so you can delete it. But if so you're, you're not going to use this pages, you better save this 325 megabyte by deleting this app. Now you may be thinking that if you delete them, you are going to lose those apps and you may have paid for some of them apps. No, that's not the case. Let's have a look. Let's go into the App Store. You see right here, purchased. See right here, the updates. Click on that. Purchased. You see, all these apps are still available for me, but they are not on my iPhone. I've deleted them because I was not using them. So I got it off of my phone to save the room. The ones say open next to it are still on my phone, but the ones clouds. There's a cloud icon right here. That means they are my apps saved in the iCloud, Apple's iCloud. I can bring them back whenever I need them. Tip number two, clear the accumulated data on the apps you use every day, but you do not need that data. Okay, so here's how you do it. Go to settings. Go to general, again storage and iCloud usage, local storage, see these apps show you data on the right hand side, what apps, so for example let's look at this tiny scanner, shows 55 megabytes the size of the app but it has a data of 258 megabyte. Those are the documents and books I have scanned and saved them in the app, which I need them, so I don't want to delete that. Okay, so let's something else. Let's look at something else. Let's look at a Facebook. 82 megabyte. Facebook's own size. But there is a data accumulated in a cached 439 megabyte. I do not display data because I'm using the app every day. The data is getting accumulated in a cache form and it's never going to go there. It's going to take the room on my iPhone. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and delete this app right from here and reinstall. That's how I'm going to save that. So I want to go through one by one all those apps the ones I'm using every day and decide what data I do not need and simple way of getting rid of it is delete the app 
in iPhone you don't have an option just to delete the data and leave the app on there. Yes, the uh, Android has that option, but iPhone does not. So you'll have to delete the app and get it back again. Again, the app is always saved in the iCloud. So all you have to do is just go to the apps, updates, purchased, and you see, just click this iCloud and app is going to be back on your phone. But the data will not be. Data is gone. Okay. Tip number three, delete the unwanted pictures and videos. Okay, so let's have a look. Go into the photos. My photos and my videos are right here. So let's go into the photos. Let's see how many photos I have. Favorites, selfies I've been taking, videos I've been taking. Every now and then we all take the pictures and videos. We do not intend to keep it for long, for good. So go through those pictures and videos every month or so and delete the ones you don't need. So tip number four is delete the deleted. Yes, that's right. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to our photos again. And you see here, recently deleted. Let's go into that folder. These pictures were deleted from my pictures or video folders. Now, they are going to get rid of automatically in 29 days. So one month they're going to be there, giving you a chance to restore them if you deleted them in mistake. But if you know that you're not going to need them, you don't need to keep them. Because even though you have deleted them from your photos or videos folder, they are still on your phone and they're taking your room. So just select the picture videos and pictures you don't and delete in our tip number five I highly recommend that you use iCloud iCloud is in your online storage Apple gives you free anytime you buy their product your iPhone or the iPad and you have your Apple ID so let me show you what I mean let's go into settings again right here general and storage and iCloud usage. See this one which we looked at before is local storage, but there right here, iCloud. I have available 1.6 gigabyte. That means if I go into manage my storage, I can see I'm using it 3.3 gigabyte for pictures. And then there are some other little but little 1.7 megabyte for notes and some other stuff but mostly used for pictures so why my iCloud has 3.3 gigabyte used already let's find out you see iCloud right here let's go to iCloud see photos so what I have done by checking it here optimize iPhone storage First, I have to turn on the iPhoto library, iCloud photo library, and then optimize iPhone storage. What it does, instead of keeping the originals on the phone or device itself, slowly it's going to save all the pictures on the iCloud. Just keep the thumbnails, with the small size thumbnails on the iPhone so you can see what pictures are saved there. That is why 3.3 gigabyte is used. So all my pictures are basically saved on the iCloud. Some people are very have huge concern that iCloud may not be safe. Guys, this is your online locker for which you have your own password and I call it your key to open that locker. Now if you find 5 gigabyte free space is not enough. Apple is offering 99 cents US funds, 50 gigabyte. So you could go all the way up to 50 gigabyte, just under $12 a year. My tip number six is to use other cloud services. For example, Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, OneDrive. All these, uh, Google Drive is offered by Google. OneDrive is offered by Microsoft. Then there are other ones, Box and Dropbox. 
they all offer free some offer two some offer five some 15 like google driver is offering 15 gigabyte that's lots of free storage tip yeah. number seven today's my last but not the least tip clear the cache data from the deleted apps and pictures and videos see every time you delete your apps or your videos or your pictures there is still cached data on your phone iPhone and you, you don't which you don't know about it's been deleted but it's sitting on your storage so the easiest way to get rid of that is turn off your device every time you delete a few apps or pictures or you clear the recent deleted folder turn off your phone for 20 seconds to 30 seconds and then restart you'll be surprised sometimes 100 megabyte 200 megabyte becomes available after you turn off and turn back on okay folks so hopefully i gave you some good tips today but you can use and smartly manage the storage on your apple device if you like the video then share it with your friends and and don't forget to click like i always reply to all the comments so make sure to leave me a comment and subscribe for more videos in the future bye for now